my channel, so today I'm going to do my project pan update. I started a project pan late this year. I wanted to give myself some time off after doing it for several years in a row. And so I, yeah, I took a few months off and then I felt the itch. So I did an intro last month. So this is my update, my first update for my project pan for this year. And I don't have anything rolling out, but I'm very, very close to finishing an item. So I'm super pleased with the progress. And I think it's only gonna be when I edit the video where I see if any pan sizes look a little bit different because I did not take any photos, but I did show it in the video. <laughs> So yeah, I've just, I've just not been doing progress photos for the last few months. You might have noticed and it's shocking really because I was so, so into it before and now I just, I feel a little bit more free about it and uh, less concerned about doing that all the time. But anyway, I have a lot of products. I moved you a little bit. You still look very wonky to me, but I, I can't be bothered. So yeah, I have seven items in this project pan, and then I also decided, because I don't have a pan that face palette, I rolled in two face palettes in this project. And I'm not doing their own separate update because it would be like a two minute video, and nobody cares about that. So I'm gonna, I'm adding them into here. So, all right, so the one that I've actually used the least, I feel like has quite a big progress, which is a little bit strange. Actually, there's two that I've used uh, four times. So this one I've used four times. It is the e.l.f. little uh, bite size blush and highlighter duo. This is the cantaloupe shade. And my goal was to finish the blush. And so this is what we're looking at right now. It looks like a little fish. Don't you think that looks like a goldfish? I think that looks like a goldfish. But anyway, that's what it looks like. I will try to put a progress photo somewhere on the screen. I do have it on today, so that was my fourth usage on it. And I've always loved this blush. It's the only blush of this tone and color in my collection, so it was really nice to use it. But I also was very much into my peaches, and also I'm testing out a Mo blush this month. So it did get a little bit neglected, but I did use it the four times and I don't know, it's like, it's so powdery. I feel like this is gonna be done in just a few months. I think once I get over to the uh, the side over here, it's gonna be a little bit thicker and a little bit, take a little bit longer to hit pan. But so far I'm really, really pleased with what it's looking like. There's some progress. I know it looks different even though I didn't take any before and after photos, but I will put up on the screen, obviously, but you would have seen what it looked like when I rolled it in. So yeah, very pleased. Okay, next up, this is no surprise because I'm terrible, I'm terrible at lip products, but I am determined to finish this NYX Butter Gloss. This is the Creme Brulee, and boy, do I want to finish this. I took the stopper out, and it is still not done because it is full of product still. I only used it four times. It's not gonna be done in four uses. It's just not. And it's just, I have no one to blame but myself. I don't really care at the end of the day. I am using it in when I need to. So that's as much progress as I'm going to have on it. So yeah, a little bit of progress there, but not the biggest. Okay, so next up is an item that I am wearing today. And I do think it will be done in the next four or or so uses. So I think this will be a roll at next time. So I will be rolling in a new item to fill its gap because I think I'll be done with this item before my next update, if that makes sense. Having said that though, I did only use this seven times. So if it takes another seven uses to finish it, then it'll be a little bit silly for me to roll an item in today. But I'm gonna do it regardless because I think it only has like four uses left. And it is this one, the Prep and Perfect Primer. This is the Banana Extract Primer from PS, which is the Primark brand. And I have it on today. I actually really like this. And I, I like the fake banana scent that it has. I don't mind it at all. I also like that it shines. It like has that inner glow feeling and it's not too tin foily, even though it kind of is, it's not that bad. I don't know it really does anything to keep the makeup on my skin. I mean, it is, it is like 6 p.m. and I've been wearing makeup 
since the morning time. I also didn't spray. I touched up my cheeks a slight bit and also powdered a little bit. So I don't know, I mean, my foundation looks okay somewhat, so maybe it is a good primer, who knows? But anyway, this one I used the seven times and there is a tiny little bit of an air pocket, but honestly, there's so little product and I'm trying to squeeze out, like, I, like this morning I tried to squeeze out and I really could feel that there's hardly any left. There's no product up here, this is just air up here. So it's really all down here and I don't need to use a lot of it either. So that's why I think maybe four uses and it will be done. If I used a lot of this, maybe just two uses, but yeah, it's that air pocket, that air, that little air is just making it feel like there's a lot more in here than there is. So potentially it's only like the middle of the month. So this could be an empty and I haven't had a, like a proper makeup empty in a while other than like mascara, which is really easy to finish for me. So maybe by the end of this month i will actually have a makeup item which i finished which will actually be really nice but anyway this one i have been using and yeah i will be rolling in a new item to fill its place in advance if that makes sense okay so the next two i've used 10 times each and i really am so disappointed that i don't see progress in one of them i really don't and i've used it 10 times and i really just want this item to be out of my collection because i have been panning it since last year and it is the technique shimmer bronzer oh my word yes used it 10 more times this month this is what it's looking like i even went into it to use as an eyeshadow because we had a little mini heat wave here actually it's really warm now too so I didn't want to wear that much makeup over the weekend so I actually used a little bit of this just in my um, my crease just to use it a little bit more but there's still product all the way around and it is bumming me out that this is not done but you know what I have to keep going I have to keep going I've come this far I worked on it this much and I just want to finish it. So yeah, this one is still holding strong. It's still in the project, but boy, am I fed up with seeing it. The next one, I do feel like there's some progress. I use the banana, what is this? The Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence 10 times as well. And I do think that the span, the, the span? <laughs> the, I think the pan has, uh, has expanded. I believe so. Again, I don't know because I haven't double checked, but I think it has. And I actually really don't like this product. I got it because Steph Lyons really loves it. And I was like, oh, well, she likes it. I will get it. But um, I've had it for a few years now. And I don't know, I, I feel like it's a little heavy on my skin. I think that's how I feel about it. But, you know, I am slowly trying to finish this. And I'm happy to, that the pan has expanded and I'm hoping so just keep going. So I feel like 10 uses is fine. If I use it another 10 more uses every single month, am I gonna actually finish it? I'm not entirely sure, but we will try. All right, next up is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in the shade Fair. I already had a pan in this one. This one really is not to finish because I don't think I can finish it this year because there is a lot of product. It comes with a fair amount it is uh yeah 21 grams which is 0.74 ounces i think that's a lot but anyway this is what it's looking like right now i think potentially it's gotten a tinchy tinchy bit wider otherwise it looks the same but yeah i've used this 12 times this month i didn't want to use cream bronzer every single time i've bronzed my face but every time I did use cream bronzer, I used this one and I really do enjoy it. But yeah, a, a little product goes a long way. I'm actually surprised I was able to hit pan in this because I don't know, maybe I was just bronzing my face way more and now I'm not. Or I was tan last year when I was using this and I'm not tan yet. So I don't know. But anyway, this one doesn't look too different, but I have used it quite a bit. All right, and then the last project, official like project pan item that I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This one, you're not gonna be able to see any difference. However, I did take the stopper out and it was the hardest stopper I have ever had to take out of any makeup item in my life. 
I couldn't do it. I usually do it with scissors and I could not do it. So I had to get some pliers. And even with pliers, I had to use my full strength to get this out. These are tough, or at least mine was really, really tough. So anyway, I've used this one 13 times this month. I, I go back and forth with this one. Sometimes I like it, like I have it on today. And then sometimes I feel like it's way too thick. It gives off that cakey feeling. But I think ultimately I like the shade. It is a little bit lighter than my skin and it gives that nice sort of brightening effect that I like under my eyes. So I think for that, it's an okay concealer. But I'm quite happy to let it go. So I'm gonna keep, gonna keep working at it because I do have too many concealers in my collection. Um, if I look down the bottle, I do feel like it's all, like a lot of the product is all down here. It's very thin around the sides. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Should I have taken the stopper out? Probably not. Maybe it was a little bit too, too soon, but I've done it now. So it's done. And, um, uh, I don't envy anyone else who tries to take a stopper out of these because they're very, very tough. Move on to the two face palettes that I've been working on. I have the Natasha Denona. This is the bronze cheek face glow palette. And then I also have the Belgian waffle from BH. So which one did I use the least? Uh, let's see. Actually, I used the Natasha Denona the least. I think this is really good when I'm in the summer and I have a nice sort of glow on my face. I'm not there yet, but if we have a few more weekends like this last weekend, oh my goodness, I, I am just gonna be there. But anyway, <laughs> this one, I didn't really care to use these two shades down the bottom, but I've been wanting to just work on these two and potentially finish them. So that's like the ultimate goal. However, I really didn't use this too many times. Now, what I did do, uh, which probably was a mistake, is I didn't count how, which one I went into how many times. I only used the six times. I think, just from memory, I think I went into the blush about two times and then the rest of the time I went into the highlighter. So we'll see. I mean, I don't think they look any different because I kind of went into the parts where I don't have pan. So when I went into the blush, I kind of uh, concentrated on this side. So I don't think it's gonna look any different. Maybe this one looks a little bit different, but again, I don't think so. I also haven't been using that many cream items this month either, so that also kind of hindered me using this. And I do have another cream blush in my Shop My Sash right now uh, where I just preferred that color. It's more peachy. This is, this is really beautiful, but it's like this color on crack. So it's like this color magnified a little bit when you have a tan. And I just felt like, I feel like it's maybe a little bit too, too much. So I have to use a tiny little bit right now. I have been trying to underpaint because I know some people who underpaint and I've been quite inspired by Alex because she underpaints as well. And I did do some underpainting because that might be the way to do it just now while I don't have the tan that I would like to have. That might be the way to go. But yeah, only used the palette six times, not a huge amount of progress, but I'm being kind of flexible with this project pan. It's my project pan. I'm not gonna be super strict with myself. And if I feel like a product is not working for me, I will roll it out. I'm gonna keep this in for now because obviously I still wanna keep using it. And it was an expensive item. So I'm not quite there yet. And I think we're also getting into the months where I will get the most use out of it. So it just makes sense to keep it in. And then we have the Belgian waffle, which I only used eight times, only a couple more times than the other one. This one uh, is similar because I didn't really want to focus on every single shade. I really just wanted to focus on these two. Um, I will try to find a good picture of what they looked like last time. If I'm being honest with you, they kind of look the same. I don't know. I mean, they look the same as each other, but they probably look the same as when I rolled it in. Maybe a slight difference, but otherwise, this is a baked formula, so it really takes a little bit of time to make a dent. It's not like the e.l.f. one where that's just a powder and I'm quite, I'm losing quite a bit of product because they're baked. I'm not really losing any product when I go in. So when I do see a pan, it's because that product is literally going on my brush and going on my face. So it is being used. Um, I did go into this highlighter a couple of times. I do have it on my inner corner. Um, but yeah, uh, the same as the Natasha Denona, I didn't count which one I went into the eight times. Sometimes when I go into this palette, I dip into both of them at the same time. So it's kind of hard to count 
to be fair, because is that is that one use or is that two uses? I don't really know. So I've just counted how many times I've grabbed the palette. I think that's a fair time. Uh, I think that's a fair assessment. I haven't gone into that one, haven't gone into this one, and I don't think I went into this one. So, but it, like I said, it's only these two that I want to focus on. So again, I'm relaxed with it. I don't feel too concerned. As long as I get more use out of it, I'm more than fine with that. All right, so moving on to the item that I'm going to be rolling in. I have this item, which is from Catrice. It is in my primer collection, and because I'm about to finish this primer, I wanted to roll in a primer. If you know on my channel, I had a huge issue with primers. I had way too many primers a few years ago. I think I had like up to 15, and I have always made it a mission to add a primer in my project pans just to try to whittle them down. That's what I'm currently trying to do now with my concealers because my concealers are out of hand, but I still want to work on my primers. I actually like this, this Catrice one. It has all of these 10 things that it does. Whether it does it or not, I don't know, but I did already use this this month. So I thought, well, let me roll it in. It's tinted. And I think also if I'm gonna have some really nice sunny days like we're having right now, this is the perfect item. It has a tiny incy bit of SPF. Obviously I use a normal sunscreen and then I can pop this over if I want a little bit of color or just, or whatever else it gives me. <laughs> it gives me a little bit of a tint and a little bit of coverage. It only has 15 SPF, so you can't rely on it, but it has a little bit of extra. So yeah, I use this this weekend and I kind of like it. I don't mind the, the color of it too. Sometimes with these tinted ones, they're always, they always pull a little bit too orange or amber or just have, they're just a little bit too warm tone and beige, but this one's not, it still stays quite neutral and I can work with it. So I'm gonna be rolling this one in to finish. I also feel like it's pretty light. I don't think it comes with that much product. I don't feel like I've used that much of it. It's 30 mil. So actually pri this primer is a whopping 50 mil. This one, normal primers are usually 30 mil. So this is like a normal one. This has been a bad boy. This is like, this is a big whopper. That's why I've had it for so long. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rolling this one in to finish in its place. So I'm gonna try not to use it before I finish this. We'll see. Anyway, that is my update for my project pan. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all next time. Bye.